I am here once again with some fantastic parents of some of my boys and gamers. Some love taps being getting getting over there on the booty. We'll, we'll, we'll get that later. Anyways, ma'am, who are you and who is your son? Um, Melissa Franks and David Burgess Risen. Okay. And sir, who are you? Dennis Franks. Is this your guys' first MLG event or first? Okay, okay. What number? Uh, you veteran you. Two, David's ninth, but my second. How many have you done? My second. Okay, your second. How about you, sir? It's my first. I'll start with the virgin first. Sir, what is your impression? I mean, of course, I'm, I'm assuming that they probably gave you some information, right, about how it was going to be. Did you see any videos or photos of it before getting here? Yeah, I've seen it before. I've watched it before and all. I play Halo myself. But. What did you think about when you first found out that your son was, was doing this, when it was that? Or even, like, for example, did you know it was that serious at first? No. I honestly just kind of looked at him and went, sure, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and, and, and how about you? Well, I, I didn't think it was that serious, but I mean, I uh, found out it is. Because yeah. I know this is a question I get from a lot of gamers, that they don't really do the best job of explaining it to their parents. Uh, did, did he do a good job of explaining kind of what it is, giving you a good foundation to kind of get understanding of? Not the first time around, no. Okay. okay. No. How, many, how many times did it take? A thousand? Well, no, about three or four, because he's been playing quite a while. Okay. So, um, but no, he, it's, it's much serious now. And we're, uh, we back it. We show. Yeah. We come out and do no, it. I mean, clearly, you're here. It's fantastic. What's the environment like? How, how does it? How, how do you feel? Yeah, I mean, it's cool to me. I mean, I like it. I mean, it's just a little different from what I'm used to. After finding out about what your son does, about his esports endeavors, a big question comes up now where I know I've heard from some gamers where they say, well, or their parents would say, go get a real job. Do you support that, or would you say that, hey, if he can financially support himself from this, would you support that? Absolutely. Yes. Okay, you would. Yeah, if he can support himself with it, I'm all for it. Okay. The idea of esports, what, what did you think about it? I mean, when he first told you about it, were you like, a bunch of nerds just playing video games, wasting their money? Yeah. Okay. We went through that, like I said, he's been playing a while, so we went through that whole stage of it's a phase, you'll come out of it, whatever, David, it's okay. Yeah. Talking about how their kid was up really late, and there was those mo those, those modem pulls that they say, those those Ethernet cord pulls, where you're just like, get off the game, okay, any funny stories you can give me, any, any moments that were maybe memorable to that? There's been a few times that we've had to go disconnect everything in the house just to get him to get some sleep. That's right, get put into place. Yeah, j just to get him to get some sleep and, you know, not do his 24-7. It, you, you care more about his health. Yes than anything because that's what they say i do i do and he doesn't sleep much <laughs> so especially when he's down here yeah. what was the first event you went to and when was it uh dallas last year okay how much has mlg changed or at least have you noticed changes has it gotten bigger what, what's different about it this, this year this is a bigger event than what it was last year most definitely it's um there seems to be more impact more hype around it there's just i didn't see as much about it last year when we came and this year it's been a lot better okay is there anything else that maybe you're looking forward to at the event, going to look at some booths or whatnot? I'm going to go check out the booths. No, I haven't done it yet. That's what I was getting ready to go do. Okay. I was waiting on them. Well, sorry. My fault. No, it wasn't you. See people complaining. This interview's done. If there was ever a PTSA that was going to be started here at MLG or whatever, where there was going to be some kind of parents association to represent their gamers, would you join? Yes. You would? I would. Okay. Just because he does it so much yeah. and he's so involved. Yeah. I feel that MLG is a safe place for your kids. I mean, I know, I know we've spoken with some other parents, and they have kids that are still in high school, and, and they t have told me that they, they feel fine letting their kid run around. I mean, how do you feel the environment is for maybe kids who would be in high school, or even if you just let them go off on their own? I think it's okay. I think they've got enough, you know, staff and everybody observing and things like that, that there's security. Yeah. Yeah, you feel the same way? be okay. Yeah, they got plenty of the security and everything else that they have here. Yeah. Okay. And have you had a chance to meet any of the MLG staff? No, okay. I have not. Well, they want to meet you. <laughs> if not, they better want to meet my ass. Have you had a chance to meet any of Risen's, your son's friends at all, from maybe online as he introduced you to anyone? I mean, do people seem pretty yeah. together, interactive, humble? I mean, do they seem like well-educated, non-nerdy kids who smoke a lot of pot? Hopefully not. Surprisingly enough, yes. Okay. Um, we actually hosted the team last year. They stayed with us. Really? Then, yeah. yeah. So Serious veterans here. I love this. Yeah, so no, they, they do. They're very good. Um, we've met the team this year and stuff, and I mean, it's been great. Okay. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Hope, you, hope you guys have a good weekend. Yeah. Thank you so much. So hey, listen, guys, getting an interview with some more parents, Risen's parents, some awesome people, man. Really nice to see the involvement and the support we see from family in the esports scene and the a level of, I guess, commitment and almost passion, too, as well, from some parents that would even be willing to go as far as letting other players and teams stay at their house. It just seems to me that esports is growing so much more and the community, the interaction, the level of just camaraderie and support is growing exponentially. It's fantastic. It's great.